and what sort of manpower does it take to, to operate the system? To operate the state? system, because it's all based on a computer DSP or digital signal processing system, to operate it is literally one man behind a computer terminal. So uh, everything's brought up on a touch screen, they can adjust the levels of the clusters, they can adjust the tonality of the system, all remotely, and every single amplifier is feeding back to the main computer uh-huh. its status in terms of power output, temperature, power consumption, whether there's a problem on the line or whether there's a problem even with the loudspeaker itself. And, and would that be uh, that person be one of your guys or so uh, the stadium staff? The whole objective here is to keep it within the hands of the stadium management themselves. So we bring it down to a level where somebody with a basic technical knowledge can actually sit there, run the system, doesn't have to have any form of specialist knowledge, uh, but there's enough alerts built into the system that if you go beyond this capability, it's going to shut it down automatically or bring it back into the parameters that it's safe and, to use. And moving to uh, what the particular challenges were that Cape Town presented from the point of view of just designing and setting up? Apart from the fact it's Cape Town and things are a little bit slower, but you can keep that to yourself. The, um, that mainly the, our install had to happen because of the time restraints during the winter. Yeah. So it was not pleasant for us at all. We were up there with the winds howling, with the rain and the cold. You don't say. Yeah, t- <laughs> but trying to lift uh, kind of a ton of loudspeakers up into the air, into the roof lining, uh, did pose some challenges. Um, we had people swinging around looking like they were part of a circus rather than doing the sound yeah, yeah, Lots of danger money being played out, yeah, I shouldn't wonder. Yeah. And, and the actual u- drive units, are they more or less in a kind of uh, a circular array around the no, area? No, they're not. There's, say, there's 14 clusters of line array boxes, and each one of the clusters is designed to cover a specific area of the grandstand. Ah. So as you move out and the, the seating becomes flatter, you've got less clusters. As soon as you get more seats in like a curved area, be a corner or an apex, then there's increased quantity of boxes there. And so it's, it's very directional? Uh, it's, it's essentially so. Uh, and there's a whole lot of temporary seating in this grand in the stadium, yeah. which is being put in just for the duration of the World Cup. So there's boxes that have been put in just to cover that area that will come out post the World Cup and then be redistributed into other areas of the stadium. All right, well, that's Mark Mulherber, and uh, thanks very much, Mark.